Today I went out with our friends from ANTHC and Mount Edgecombe High School and I showed them how to harvest herring eggs. We learned everything from choosing a tree, cutting it down, and cooking the herring eggs on the boat. Our traditional food is very important. A lot of our native food is all natural seaweed. Just like now, they have what they call a Klokniya Sautusk. Herring, seaweed that's growing during the herring spawn. It's probably out there in the, in the rocks right now. Wow, look at all those eggs. That's amazing. <laughs> yummy, yummy. The herring eggs are rich in protein and omega fat uh, and nutrients like iron. So they're, they're really healthy for you. Sometimes people lay them on uh, seaweed and then you add the nutrients of the seaweed when you eat them like that. Herring eggs is one of the first traditional foods you want your children to to get the taste for this kind of food. Usually we lay the branches the end of March and then you leave it in the water for a few days and then you check them um, and see if they're ready to be pulled. They're covered with eggs, that's how you know, you just keep checking them. Stormy, I heard we're gonna share some of these eggs at Mount Edgecombe High School. Yeah. All the kids really love the eggs there. It'd be great to eat and they feed them in all different types of ways. I like them on the branch with them boiled and I also like to eat them with soy sauce. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. We had a great dinner on the boat with donated dry fish, seal oil, and everybody enjoyed the herring eggs on kelp and on the hemlock branches. There's a sense of satisfaction in giving back to the community and helping our elders, uh, putting a smile on somebody's face. Hi, I'm Chef Amy, the executive chef at the Alaska Native Medical Center. And today we're here to make a herring egg salad that we received uh, from Sitka. I'd like to show you them. They're very beautiful, very plentiful. It's a very quick process. So we do a dunk in the hot water. And out we go. Straight into the ice bath. Now we're going to make a herring egg salad. I've taken the herring eggs and um, already blanched them. So they're just going to come right off the, the branches and we're going to go straight into a bowl. You initially smell the, the fishy smell of the eggs and then when you go into the hot pot, you immediately smell the land. So you smell the sea and then you smell the land from the tree branches and it's really a beautiful experience. Here's our, our green onions going in and some of our tomatoes. I have some shredded carrots. These add a, a really nice crunch. I do like to soak them in a little bit of water. They keep their color a little better that way. And the same thing with our shredded radishes. And add some lemon juice to our mayonnaise. I like to use an olive oil mayonnaise, it's a lighter mayonnaise, it's a little healthier for you, it has a really nice flavor. We'll add a little bit in here, I use my hands a lot when I cook, it's fun. Makes me a little closer to the ingredients. So don't get shy, get your hands in there and get it worked in. The dressing is 100% is based on how much you like, how heavy you like. This could be served table side with your family, you could mix it up, take it out on the boat with you, pack it in your lunch for work. So this herring egg salad recipe is originally from Juno. We've made a few modifications to it, made it a little bit more modern with readily available ingredients. 
We've recently started a new patient menu where we've been able to offer herring eggs on our menu with the addition of some fiddlehead ferns and some beach asparagus, which we're really excited about. It's only why supplies last, of course. As you know, traditional foods are within the season, so we've gotten them in. We've taken the opportunity to preserve them so that we can use them for a few months to come, and then it'll be on to the next traditional food that's in season. I was born in Eek, Alaska. In Eek? Yes. What's your name? Anna Ivan. This is good. Tastes good like I'm eating a gula. <laughs> so we were able to stop by the Tribal Youth Center here in Sitka and see the children practice dancing for their end of the year program. I think it's important to teach our youth about traditional foods and about our culture because it strengthens us as a people. It's important for our youth to learn about the local foods that they're able to get out and are able to get them themselves rather than just going to the store and shopping. Yeah.